What's going on guys and gals and welcome back to my little craft to exile universe. So I've done a couple things. Uh, I'll actually, I mean, I mostly just done one thing. I upgraded my storage a little bit. As you can see, there's kind of a mix of chests. That's because these are a little resource intensive. So I'm just kind of taking it slow. Also, there's not a huge need. Some chests are getting to the point where I'm going to need to upgrade them again, but Look at all this diamond gear we got. We went and conquered a second dungeon. It was uh, very close to the one we did, and I was just like, you know what, let's get this done, get some extra resources. And so we did. And what I would like to do now is, <clears throat> I want to make the mine and slash stations that are going to allow me to repair modify and salvage equipment and i think these are them right here yes these these three so we need some diamonds do they all require furnaces so we need nine furnaces tnt all right let's get all this stuff diamonds gold iron uh where's the tnt let's grab that we need one tnt we needed a crafting table, so we'll grab four logs, or planks, and I think, oh yeah, we need a coal, maybe we could get that done there, but we'll just grab it here, let me organize this too, I don't like how that looks, um, and now we just need the furnaces, so where did we put all of our blocks, was it this one, nope, it was this one, okay, hopefully we have enough, I think, I think we can use, well, I don't think we have enough. Interesting. I didn't anticipate, well, maybe we can use Jasper. We might be able to use Jasper. We'll just we'll grab all these things, because you never know. We might be able to mix and match here. Let's head down and give it a go. Oops. Okay, so Jasper, first things first, can we? Oof, that's a real big bummer. What about this? Alright, so it appears that we are going to go grab some cobblestone. We got the cobblestone we needed. Uh, we're kind of fortunate in that this is like our area right underneath our little bridge. And there's a cave here with stone. Now, you might be thinking, why is that fortunate? It's stone. Well... Craft Exile has that mod that has all the different types of stone and layers, like weathered limestone, all throughout the world. And a lot of times it's actually difficult to find regular stone because there's so many other types that are replacing it. Uh, we actually don't need to go up there, so... Pop these in here. That's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, okay. I think we have everything we need now. Now I just have to remember the recipe. I think it was this one was for this. Okay. Uh, we'll go with gold. Ah, there we go. The equipment salvage station. Uh, next one, I think iron was with the coal. Yep. And then, unfortunately, we forgot to make the crafting table, so now we have to do that. Then that. And then diamonds. And bada bing bada boom. We've got all of our stations here. Wow, three achievements for that. Nice. Where do we want to put these? I'm going to say we're going to get rid of these chests. Maybe not that one. But these two definitely. So... Maybe what we'll do is... We'll have a little station under the stairs. Uh, and this one can go right there. Oh, this looks ugly because I would have to put the third one. Back there, and of course, I broke my pickaxe, so... Nope. No pickaxe there. Alright, you love to see it. You just love to see it. Maybe it's time we made a diamond pickaxe. I don't think we can use it, because we can't use diamond weaponry or armor until we're level 21. Are you going to give me a modifier or what? It's not. Alright, cool. 
This better be able to be broken good. Okay, so this was all a mistake. One, two, three. Boom. We're doing it here. Where do we want this one? Do we want it like this? No. We want the big old hexes on the outside, I think. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so, salvage. Let's try and salvage something. What do we have? Do we, can it salvage, like, broken weapons? Let's find out. Wait, does it have to be all up and down? Oh, wait, there we go. What is this going to give us? And what is this thing? Seriously? Well, we don't need any of this, so we're just going to go ahead and pop all of them in there. And you know what I think we're going to do? I think we're going to open all the chests. We're going to open all the chests we've accumulated. Oh, we got two rare things. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, let's see, we have two legendaries right here, and then these are all epics. We'll do the legendaries last. So the first thing we'll do is the currency treasure boxes. All right, what do we get? Do do do. Interesting, interesting, interesting. These are like the same things we got from the legendary though, that one time. So I don't know if there's a difference. Huh? Maybe. These can have different types. Let's find out. Let's go up here. So these were legendary. This is a tier two. Also tier two. Uh, this one is okay. Tier zero. Huh. I guess. Yeah, I have I have no idea. We're just gonna have to use them on a modifier and on a weapon and modify and test it out. Oh wow! So these are what the equipment boxes do. Holy cow! Give it to me. Wait, does it do it based on level? Oh my gosh, it does. So you know what? We actually shouldn't open all of these. Wow. Because as like we progress our levels, that's when we use more. We might need to make another identify tomb. Let's let's do this. We're gonna do this. Alright, so which one did it do? This one. Whew, that's a good one. Okay, we'll use that. We'll pop that in there. Do another one. Let's do both of those. What, let's see, we got 9 stamina, 9 dexterity. This one has a bunch of runes. Huh. I don't know what that means, so we're just going to have to use this one. Let's actually go ahead and pop those two things in there. Alright. The final one it did was the Venom Imbued Bracelet. Oh, it's a set, I think. Flaming Devil. Sounds intense. Let us put that on. Alright. Let's go ahead and make another... Oh, uh, that's not what we want. The identification tomb. Oh, there it is. So we need a rare ore and a book. That's right. Rare ore and a book. Plenty of books in here. And plenty of rare ore in here. You know what? We're actually going to make two of these. Two of the identification books. I think we'll store them in there, too. So I don't have anything in there. Oh wow, so it stacks. I did not realize that. That's amazing. I just realized we have quests. We're going to have to take a look at the quests after this. We have done so much stuff and we've never even looked at our quests. Okay, so these boots are... Probably better? I don't know, because I know these have enchantments and these don't. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put that on. 
Yeah, for sure. And then the final thing is this life-stealing hammer of critical damage, which does 20 to 35. Amazing. Two strength, two vit whoops, two vitality. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Increased life steal, critical damage, armor penetration. Boom. I think, I think you're gonna get replaced for pulser. And then we'll save that. We'll just kinda put that in there, because cause why not? Okay. So now we'll go up here, put those away. Okay, so I'm looking at this thing, and it has a prefix and a suffix, and then it has the primary and secondary stats. So we kind of know now what these modifier things do. Like, this one rerolls suffix, this one rerolls prefix. Um, I'm cool with the ones that are on it, so I'm not going to bother rerolling those. I do want to know, let's see, rerolls the... All numbers on equipment. I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. A chaos stat. I'm curious to know what a chaos stat is. Um, maybe we'll do that. Uh, and then adds another secondary stat. We'll try one of these. Transforms a common. Interesting. Permanently adds, and that's another chaos stat one. Oh wait, never mind. It's the same thing. So we'll we'll try this. Now we can use the modifier station. We'll put that in there, and we'll put that in there, and we'll just see. Adds another secondary stat. So our secondary stats are armor penetration and armor penetration. So now we have. An additional 9 critical damage. So we have 18% critical damage in total. That's pretty neat. But wow, I just realized that uses 38 energy for one swing. That is going to deplete our energy so quickly. Alright, well, we'll just have to work with it. I don't know what these cheap money bags are, so we're going to open them. What the heck? We got a quarter, we got some quarters, nickels, and a penny. We're gonna revisit that later when I figure out what that is. Because <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Alright, so now that we've made our equipment, or we've opened those bags and we've gotten some equipment, I want to try and figure out if we can enchant them. So... We're going to go ahead and make um, an enchantment sort of area, room, I guess. There's also all these other weird bookshelves that might make our enchanting better. I have no idea if that's actually the case. I also don't know what that is. Well, there's some interesting stuff we're going to have to get into. Enchantment table, we just need two diamonds. Some obsidian, which hopefully we have and books which we definitely have so yes we have the obsidian perfect 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 let's go ahead and pop that grab that now we just want some regular bookshelves which we need a bunch of wood for hopefully we have the wood for that yeah we got plenty of wood for that um do 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 do, do. We need, what is it, like 14, I think is the number? We'll do 16. You can never have too many bookshelves. And I guess we'll make use of, well, part of me wants to make <clears throat> use of this room right here, but I also want to know if there's enough space up there. So let's actually make a little ladder system going up there. We are now up in our attic. Uh, I think I'm going to actually use vines here since you can climb them without needing like, like you need to put ladders up against a surface in order for them to be there. And vines can just hang in open air. And since this is like sort of in the middle of the room, I can't really put ladders. So vines it is. It does look like this area is big enough. So let's actually, use 
we want to use that space? I think we will. Is that too big? Um, I think that's alright. Hopefully I'm making this right. Sometimes I forget. Pop that there and then put this here. Let's see if that's enough. What is this? Eterna Quantum Arcana? Oh. That's what those other bookshelves are for. But hey, guess what? It looks like we can enchant these. Measure. Variance in enchanting. Your final level will be modified by this value. Let's go ahead and grab some uh, loppies, since we totally forgot it. Grab a block of it. Head back up here. We're kind of just making a staircase of dirt. This is so silly. Alright. Now, let's try and do this. So we'll put the lapis in. We'll put our hammer in. Unbreaking. We're going to go with it. The issue is that I can't see what the enchantment is with all these modifiers. Am I just missing it? I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out because I'd like to be able to see if I got anything else like sharpness or something or if it's just unbreaking four. Oh wait, control for enchantments. Looting and unbreaking four. Now that we've got this amazing weapon, let's test it out. So we've got a skeleton here. It's a skeleton of leeching, and it's elite. So this is actually quite perfect. 40 damage. That's not bad. Wait, that was a critical hit, I believe? That did a lot of damage? We got a creeper. Let's let's go kill the creeper. <clears throat> if I can get out of here. Hello, Mr. Creeper. 74 damage in one hit. Alright guys, we finally have a good weapon. And I think we're going to end this episode here. And next episode, we are going to try and get a bunch of levels. So what we're going to do, we're going to go explore a new area where monsters are a much higher level. And we're going to get a lot more experience. So stick around for that. If you wouldn't mind dropping a like and subscribing, it really helps me out. There's going to be a lot more content in the future. So, I'll see you next time. Peace.